How to apply AI in business. Take computer vision, a branch of AI, which itself is a branch of computer science. With CV, we can create a system that does a subset of things that the human visual system can do. In CV, the system can analyze a picture taken by a camera to understand what's in the picture. For example, it can recognize objects like cars, streetlights, and people. While humans have no problems with these kinds of things, it's difficult for computers to do the same thing because all it sees is a rectangular array of pixels, each with a certain intensity and color. We need the computer to somehow take a step back and look at the pixels around the neighborhood of a point instead. A popular way to do that is to slide a window across the image and at each point look for higher level features. If you can somehow summarize what's in each window, then you can run the same process through summaries and repeat the process to hope to recognize objects. Computers do this through a network of nodes called neural networks. An image can be fed into the network and the concept of sliding one window over the image is called convolution. So the network itself is called a convolution neural network or CNN. So that's the AI part. Now let's look at the business part. Say you have a business that manages a parking lot in the city of Chicago. We have three types of customers. Members who pay a monthly fee and whose credit card information we already have. Members who pay per use and whose credit card information we already have non-members who just pay by usage and whose credit card information we do not have. We want to use a computer vision based license plate recognition system to simplify operations. When cars come in or go out, their plates are automatically read and the members are charged appropriately. Others are charged at exit, but there is no concept of having to take a ticket as customers drive in. A customer simply pulls up into the parking lot and parks. On entry, the CV system registers her license plate and logs her check-in time. When she leaves, if she's a member, she simply drives out. If she's not, then the gate does not open until she pays at the credit card machine. Here's what the process looks like. A non-member may choose to become a member with a single acknowledgement since we already have all the required information for membership like the credit card, license plates and car model. To make this all happen, the license plate recognition system, the registration system and the billing system all have to be integrated. There are a few other processes and systems as well, but as you can see, the CV system is simply one part of the end-to-end -end process. Now let's look at some exception conditions. What happens if the car comes in with dirty license plates and the system is not able to read it? We have a few options here. One is to send the car through a manual process where someone reads off the license plate and enters it manually. This will increase operational costs that includes an employee and perhaps construction of a separate lane for such processing. Another is to write it off because the number of such occurrences may be so small that it's not worth paying somebody to handle exceptions. This decision needs to be made based on historical data because you don't want to write off too much revenue. Another option is to use two systems, one to read the front of the car and another to read the license plate at the back of the car. This will reduce the number of exceptions but some states do not require front and back license plates. Yet another option is to install a water spray module to wash off the soil and the snow as the car enters. This will increase the reading accuracy and is similar to cleaning the data before you feed it into a CV system or a machine learning system. The point is that as you look at the total implementation of the process, you will see that artificial intelligence plays only a small part you have to make many other decisions about customer experience, speed, cost, employees, processes, etc. to make the solution a reality. 
So don't get enamored by the AI technology. We might even have to throw in other technologies like IoT and blockchain to make these processes even more robust. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing. If you want my help to get started, shoot me an email. Thank you.